Avengers Endgame and what does it mean for your business? Guys, don't worry, there's no spoilers here. I'm not going to ruin anything. You can still go and watch this billion dollar movie. But I want to share with you a little bit about the Avengers Endgame and what I've taken away from it to apply to your business. Now, one of the big things that is so, so important is to understand a business cycle and then also a marketing cycle. Because what a lot of people miss and what a lot of people don't think about is that in business there's peaks, there's troughs, there's valleys, and you only learn that by being in it over time. So for example, like the Avengers, they are a series of movies that came out, they brought people together, and then they started marketing them and they started running these different types of movies. Right, but if you think of it, you look at it from the beginning and how it worked. So obviously Marvel own all the Marvel comic books, which there is a tremendous amount of, and that will go on for forever and ever because there's just been so many comic books that they've created. However, they had to structure things properly from the very beginning. So if you think about it, the movies that came out, Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, all of these key characters that then formed to become part of the Avengers team. So what they understood was that over time they needed to adjust. Sometimes they needed to collaborate and bring things together to allow it to grow. So they brought these characters across these movies together to form the Avengers. Then from there they started marketing these things. However, obviously being the Avengers, that life cycle of that product, if you will, only lasts so long. Certain characters leave, maybe other people's their contracts finish up, they move on to other projects, they can't last forever. It's just impossible to do. So what you want to think about is in your business, what are the products that you have that have a life cycle, that continually move on and adjust, and that you might have to package together, or that you might have to think about, cool, when does this product retire? So for example, for us, I'll give you some real life examples of what we've had, is that we've had several products where we've been teaching people different forms of marketing. So the very first product I had, which is $49, was called Facebook Marketing Mastery. It was a very basic, it was a very introductory program that we had that we rolled out and we shared with people. And it worked, it lasted. However, what happened was obviously with Facebook, lots of different changes happened. Lots of different options changed. And so that meant for us that we would always have to continually update it. Right Then the next iteration of that became the Business Blitz program that we had. More expensive, it was about um, 10 times the price, but because one was monthly, one was a one-off payment became a little bit more of an investment. We went more into some of the more psychology around marketing and programs and systems for people. And then eventually that one got retired as well because that was run by a previous coach that we had. Then we now have the Marketing Mogul System. And we've got the Marketing Mogul System 2.0, the updated version, where we're trying to build it to be more evergreen, more longer lasting, like some of the main characters, maybe like Thor, that have been around in the Marvel Universe a lot longer. So what we started to notice is that as we did this and as we iterated, we have to realize and you have to know when a product is finished or done to be able to sideline it. And it's not to say that nothing will ever happen with them, but it's just to say that sometimes in business as the cycles go through, maybe a product gets tired, maybe it needs to be rebranded, needs to be revamped, and needs to be brought back out in a different way. Or you need to distill it down. Because if you think of it, Digital Market, I do this very, very well. They're a big company out of the US. And what they do is they create splinter products. So imagine that you've got the Avengers. Each character within the Avengers is its own splinter product. So if you look at it, and I'll give you some of the upcoming things that they've got planned. For example, Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson is getting her own movie. You have lots of the people like Doctor Strange is gonna be Doctor Strange 2 getting his own movie. Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel 2. Then you also have, um, uh, I forget the characters' names now, but with uh, Thor and all the others, Guardians of the Galaxy, there's going to be a Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So all of these are splinters of the overall Avengers. So sometimes if you have those products, what you can actually do, uh, and then another video I'll be sharing with you guys all around um, offers and products, but you can start to splinter them off. You can start to separate and segment them, which means that you can actually extract more profit. Because one thing that a business needs to do is always have the understanding of how can you get more profit out of what you've had. So for example, the Avengers just did $1.2 billion in their opening weekend, right? Pretty good, pretty effective, pretty impressive. However, if you think about there being, there's in excess of 10 different characters that haven't had movies made about them yet or have only had one, if each one of them is also worth a billion dollars, right? That becomes quite profitable and for each movie series that they do. So um, Disney actually acquired Marvel for, I think it was $6 billion 
when they purchase that overarching asset. Now, of all those individual characters that you can break off, that you can spin off, that they're also creating TV shows of on um, Disney TV, then what starts to happen is you start to get more and more profit to be able to extrapolate from your business. So what you might be able to do is if you're thinking and you're going, cool, this sounds all great, Kim, you're talking about the Avengers and whatnot, but how can I apply this to my business? Well, if you have a product that maybe sales aren't going that well of at the moment, or maybe that you've had running for a period of time and maybe you think, how can I like get more profit out of this for my business and extrapolate it out? What you can start to do is to segment and to splinter those individual offers off. So what you can do is go, well, let's just say for example, like I mentioned now, so we've got our marketing mogul system 2.0. Within there, we have a Facebook marketing section. We have a funnel section. We have a section around creating offers. We have our hustle plan, which has got reactivation strategies for leads in there. Then we have an Instagram section, we have a YouTube section, and we have an outsourcing section. So each of those could well and truly be segmented out for a certain cost, for a certain investment. So for example, each uh, the program itself might be $7,000, just to make it easy math, and we have seven sections. Each of them can be sold individually for $1,000 each. So if you think about that, with your business, if you have a product or service, how can you be like the Avengers Endgame, either pulling it together to make something more valuable and bigger, or how can you segment parts off if you already have a big product or service? So for example, let's use an accounting firm. They have accounting, they have bookkeeping, they have tax, they have GST, they have all these different segments, which might be the ultimate Avengers marketing uh, uh, accounting package, which is the big package up there. However, each of those can individually be sold. You can sell consulting, you can sell bookkeeping, you can sell accounting for tax returns, you can sell accounting to lodge the GS, um, GST and things like that, right, to lodge the BAS. So each of those can be its own standalone product or it can be pulled together to allow you to actually mark something that at a higher price. I'm not saying that you're gonna make a billion dollars like Marvel, but you'll probably be able to sell it for a lot more than probably what you're selling for at the moment. So everything that you see in movies, in TV, in radio, in on the internet, wherever you're looking at things, something can be taken and applied to your business. And that's really why I wanted to do this video is because there's so many different areas that people don't think about that you're seeing lessons in business and marketing and how to make more money right in front of you. But it's down to you and whether you accept and understand that because most people will go and see the Avengers and go, cool, it's a cool movie. Oh, they, I'm a little bit upset because it's finished now. Well, oh great, there's all these other movies coming out. They got three movies coming out each year, right? Each year for the next three years. So there's still at least nine more movies coming from the Marvel Universe, coming from uh, Captain Marvel, coming from Doctor Strange, coming from Guardians of the Galaxy, that is going to be there for you to watch and consume. However, what you need to do is now take that and how can you apply it to your business? Great, something finishes off, they have three product rollouts. Great, maybe you have seven or eight things in a big product or program that you have to offer people. How can you splinter and segment and separate each one of them out so that your audience can still always consume products from you? Even with these YouTube videos that we do, we do exactly the same thing with that content. You watch this on YouTube, we have a two minute splinter that goes onto our Instagram and to our IGTV. We have two minute splinter that goes onto Facebook, that goes onto, you, uh, goes onto LinkedIn, so that people can see and consume it in whatever uh, means they see necessary. And it also means that you always stay in front of people, you stay omnipresent. Because so many people are talking about, again, the Avengers Endgame, but now everyone's got, oh, I got my new favorite character, it's the Black Panther, it's Captain Marvel, whatever it might be they start to see and they start to pull all these things, you always have an awareness of Marvel and Disney now because it's Disney owner, owner, right? So all of these things come together, that's what you need to be thinking about in your business and when you see these things going on in the marketplace, don't just go, oh, you know, uh, the Avengers Endgame is great, Game of Thrones is great. What are they doing to make people talk about it? What are they doing in a business practice as well because they only do it because it makes money. What are they doing that you can take and use in your business? So a super important point for you guys, and I highly recommend go and watch it if you like the Avengers, even if you don't, go and watch it just to see how they do it and how they set up, right? How they set up for these other characters to come through, to come out, to be able to be shown and be splintered off into different movies down the track. Because um, even if you put it down as a, I'm sure your accountant will tell you, I'm sure it can be a tax deduction if you go and watch it for business purposes only, right? No entertainment, no joy was found in the movie, just business. Um, I'm sure that'd be possible too. So guys, please, if you like this video, give me a little thumbs up. 
comment down below and let me know what how can you do this for your business how can you productize how can you splinter how can you build an avengers team of the products or services that you have to go out there and change people's lives in the businesses that you run i'll leave you with that question make sure you comment down below and let me know and as always subscribe so that you see these videos before anyone else and we're also going to be rolling out soon some competition giveaways only if you are a subscriber so if you're watching this i know you are Make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you stay subscribed so you can find out about our competitions and giveaways that we'll have only for subscribers here on YouTube. Until next time, I'm Kim Barrett. You have been awesome. Adios.